don't try to make formulas or ideals or ideologies out of life. There is no substitute for involvement. I am just telling you, do whatever the hell you want, those who are chasing enlightenment. Just relax a bit. In my life, be it business negotiations or even in marriage or even raising kids or career decisions, how do I know what is it that works? You're married and you want to know what works <laughs> See, you must be like God, that you are a silent partner, then it works. Just like God, whatever anybody does, Learn to be like God, never intervene in anything. Every day in the morning, every kind of idiot will tell you what you should do today. You just listen, just like God. <laughs> Marriage will work, it may not work with your profession. See, uh, you're misunderstanding this. You're trying to make this into some kind of a value system. You're trying to make it your philosophy. I will do only what works. Well, you took a oath, I will do only what works. Now you don't know what works. <laughs> because what, we, what works will not come with a oath or a commandment. What works comes with constant observation and evolution of who you are, isn't it? Hello? The same things, how you made them work, how clumsily you made something work ten years ago, the same thing you may be doing it with ease today, isn't it so? Or you may be doing it clumsily today, you were doing it well at one time, whichever way, whichever kind of evolution has happened. So, what works is not some kind of a formula, it is an evolution of a human being to come to what works on all levels of life. Uh, this is like reading… I mean, you… you're just falling out of a self-help book. No, I am not a self-help book. Do what works, do whatever the hell you want. What's my problem? But what's the point of doing something that doesn't work? Hello? <laughs> I'm not telling you, you should do only what works, do whatever the hell you want. But for your life, because it's a limited amount of time, what is the point doing something that does not work, isn't it? Either it should work for you or it should work for people around you. If it doesn't work for you and anybody around you, what is the point of doing that damn thing? This happened. Soldiers, American soldiers were leaving on duty. So, one of them told the other, you know Steve's wife, she read three musketeers and she delivered a triplet, delivered triplets. He says, oh my God, my wife is reading Birth of a Nation. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> so don't make this into some kind of an ethic or a philosophy, I will do only what works. Well, just to see what works needs lot of application even for the smallest damn things, isn't it? Hello? To do a smallest thing, like hitting a ball or kicking a ball straight, you know how much it takes. Somebody who can kick a ball where he wants, wow, the whole world is worshipping him just because he kicks a damn ball. Yes or no? Because people understand what it takes Nobody is worshipping him because he kicks a ball. 
because people can see what has gone into it. Hmm? Isn't it so? People can see what has gone into to be able to kick a ball the way he is kicking, what has gone into it, his life has gone into it. So, don't make philosophies and ethics out of everything or don't tell yourself a commandment, I will do only what works. It's a good commandment, but now you don't know what works. So, <laughs> no, no. You, you need to be conscious and apply yourself to every damn thing. If you just learn this much, that you don't decide what is important and what is not important. I was in the Rally for Rivers board meeting just before I came here in New Delhi. The CII, that is the hmm, Confederation of Indian Industry, their board also participated in the Rally for Rivers board because they are looking at how to about this because slowly people are realizing the magnitude of what has been unfolded. Everybody is trying to be part of it. We have an eminent board, uh, the CEO of the World Wildlife Fund and the water, the topmost water experts and the topmost farming, farmers producer organization people. We have a, a judge from the Supreme Court and it's a very eminent board. As uh, this Kaveri calling project was being talked about and for every question particularly certain experts had and they were asking, I was casually telling them what to do. They said, Sadhguru, how do you know all these things? I said, right from my early childhood, I just wandered around without any purpose without any purpose. Simply I wandered in the jungles, in the forests, in the rivers and this. But I paid absolute attention to every plant, every insect, the air, the moisture, the works and everything. What was aimless wonder today is becoming formidable knowledge that is not written in any damn book. For the first time, Somebody is talking in a comprehensive way, not from a textbook. This was just aimless wonder. As a child, as a youth, just wandered around without any purpose. So even if it is purposeless, you can't live without attention, isn't it? Hello? So just do this one thing. Stop discriminating what is important, what is not important. If you pay the same level of absolute attention to every damn thing, you will see that what is the right thing to do is a very natural process. But you have already decided what is important, what is not important, how will you evolve, what is the right thing to do? Half the world has already been given up because it's not important. You are paying attention, only you even look at somebody properly only if they are of something to you. No, I looked at everybody, absolutely. Every life, every damn thing, every pebble, every moment that was happening in the earth, in the atmosphere, everything, not as a study, simply because I had eyes and I had an attention span. I paid attention to everything. Today they are saying this is something phenomenal. I was just laughing and saying, see, I just wandered aimlessly. Everybody thought I am just a vagabond. But now this aimless wandering has… is paying off in a huge way <laughs> Because it doesn't matter what the hell you are doing, small things are big things. If you are absolutely involved, absolutely, you will see, you will know what's the right thing to do. You are trying to live here without involvement. This is why you have morals, you have ideals, you have ideologies, you have values, you have ethics, you have commandments. Because you are trying to live here without involvement. You want ready-made formula, what is the right thing to do? Thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not. Did the world get fixed, I'm asking? 
Every goddamn school-going children knows what is the right thing to do. Has it worked? It's not worked because you think there is a substitute for involvement. There is no substitute for involvement. Where there is no involvement, there will be no life. So don't try to make formulas or ideals or ideologies out of life. All life takes is absolute involvement, unbridled involvement, not distinguishing who is who, what is what, just absolutely involved with everything that you're in touch with right now. If you do this one thing, well, according to your level of intelligence and, you know, nature also should yield. With all this, you will know what is the best thing to do, given your perspective, of course. See, right now, if you bring a man of certain capability, he may do something in a given situation. That's not the right thing to do for you, isn't it? You must know what is the right thing for you to do in a given situation. You won't be able to do what he does. You must be able to do what you can do to the best of your ability. That is the right thing to do in your life. You don't try to do like somebody else. So that will be the problem the moment you decide what is the right thing to do. No, there is no ready-made solution. Involvement, there is no substitute for involvement. Where there is no involvement, there is no life. Because if you want to experience this life, you need involvement. Whatever the hell you do, will you do it with absolute involvement in the coming months? See. See, I'm a really nice guru, okay? I'm a really nice guru. Because I'm not telling you, this is the thing to do. Everybody who came are always trying to tell you, this is the thing to do. I'm just telling you, do whatever the hell you want. Do it well. And that cannot be done without involvement, isn't it? Huh? Small things and big things. Will you do it with total involvement? How you wake up in the morning, total involvement. How you brush your teeth, total involvement. How you shit, total involvement. How you eat, total involvement. How you do your Shambhavi, total involvement. Everything that you do, you do not distinguish what is small, what is big. When I said shit, you said hee hee hee. Okay, then don't do it. If you think it is not important or if you think it's dirty, you should not do it. I'm saying, do not make a distinction what is filthy and what is sacred. This is where the key is because involvement means unprejudiced inclusion also. The moment you say this is sacred, this is filthy, can you involve with the filthy? Hello? You will be constipated. Yes, and then nothing will work. Not indiscriminate action, indiscriminate involvement. Can you look at a weed, at a weed outside with as much involvement as you would look at your child? This is all you need to do. Just bring this kind of involvement, unprejudiced, absolute involvement. You will see, life will blossom in a wonderful way. 2019, you must blossom. Those who are chasing enlightenment, just relax a bit and just be involved with whatever the hell you're doing. Life will happen in a wonderful way. In this insightful discussion, Sadhguru delved deep into the intricate dynamics 
of decision making shattering conventional notions of right and wrong big and small through his profound wisdom he illuminated the path to unlocking our innate ability to discern what truly matters in every circumstances as we navigate the complexities of life let us embrace the freedom that comes from transcending limitations and embracing clarity remember this journey is all about tapping into boundless potential within each of us let us walk forward with confident knowing that within us lies the power to shape our destiny and chart our course admits life ever changing currents thank you for joining in today's video and i will see you in the next one namaskaram